<laughs> oh, look at that. Lazy again. Uh, <laughs> trust or bust. <laughs> I got to tell you, we really need a new graphics guy. It's a great graphic. Um, you like that? I like that one. And uh, the funky Tetris thing on the left side. I don't know what the hell's going on here. <laughs> and now it's the Carton Show. That's Jeff Schwartz. He played in the NFL, believe it or not. And that's Cody Decker. And they used to play Little League Baseball together. We did. And Cody used to be bigger. I was, actually, yeah. at one point. Go figure out life uh, screws you. Um, all right. <laughs> Trust or bust. So the idea of this segment is I go to the expert here. I'm going to give Ooh. you a team that's in the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, and their quarterback. Yes. And the question is going to be because a lot of these guys are uh, going to have never had Super Bowl success. Yes. Or maybe even, it's even uh, their first playoff run. And you're going to let us know, do you trust that quarterback? Or is that quarterback going to be a bust? Thus the name. Trust or bust. Yes, yeah, trust or bust. Amazing. That's how we came up with that. It just sounds better, though, when you do it with this. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, now, good. what's the name of the game? Trust or bust. Yeah, it just sounds better. You that can maybe awesome. hang out that for the rest of the show. I will. All right. Eagles, Jalen Hurts. We don't know if the guy's going to play again regular season with one game left against the New York Giants. He's an MVP candidate. They haven't won since he got hurt. Yes. His right shoulder, his thrown shoulder, is somewhat bunk. Can Eagle fans trust Jalen Hurts in the playoffs, or is he going to be a playoff bust? I think it's hard to trust him right now because of his shoulder injury. Like, we, like, we don't know if he's going to play or not. We don't know what, how he's going to play, whether or not he's going to be healthy. I think if he's fully healthy to go, you definitely trust him. But until we see him play, I don't know how you trust him at the moment. So the name of the game is trust. So I would say, I would say right now, bust. Bust! Yeah, hey. yeah give, him, give him the megaphone. Yeah. Bust. Hey. All right. There we go. All right, Jacksonville. <laughs> Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, they're not in yet. Yes. They got to beat Tennessee. If they lose to Tennessee, it's really uh, complicated. They're not going to make the playoffs. Uh, if they do get in and you're a Jaguar fan, well, let's just start this week. This is essentially a playoff yes. game. Mm -hmm. Win and you're in. Can Jaguar fans trust Trevor Lawrence or is he going to be a bust? Trust. Or a bust. Bust. He's never played a playoff game before. I don't know how you expect someone who's never played a playoff game to come in there and all of a sudden be this excellent quarterback. We see all the time the first year quarterbacks are in the playoffs. They kind of have a moment. We're like, oh, we're in the playoffs now. So to me, it's bust for that reason. Wow. Trevor Lawrence, a bust. Cody. Oh, I wonder who the, is the, a the, not the, bust. This is, such a strong, this is a strong game. <laughs> like, 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 I think none of these guys are really going to bust, but sure. He, he, he did play the national championship. Can't wait until we get to Brock Purdy to hear what he has to say. <laughs> All right, Dallas Cowboys. Oh, Matt I know this Prescott one. Prescott has only won a single playoff game in his career. And that's the rub on the Cowboys that, yeah, great regular seasons, score a lot of points, and then slowly but surely, kind of like the Titanic, woo, Dak Prescott, trust or bust? Trust. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think right now for the Cowboys, you don't trust their defense, right? At the moment, Dak Prescott, yeah, a couple of interceptions that aren't really his fault. If those don't happen, we look at them so much differently. Let's say there's seven of them that have bounced off a wide receiver's hand. Yeah, those are called, cool, as you and, know, rinse. Yeah, and they're, rinse. And they're, oh, oh yeah. okay, yeah. They have kints and rinse. We learned it last week. It's a oh, new stat okay. in the NFL. Cool. Rinse meaning receiver interception oh. as opposed to the quarterback. Okay. And it's uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, PFF. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not using that word. Oh, um, so let, let's say they, they, they drop down to two, right? We look at them much differently, obviously. Yeah. So I trust Dak Prescott. I'm not sure I trust his coach or his defense at the moment, but I trust Dak Prescott. That's interesting because Dak Prescott has playoff experience, yes. and he's one in three in the postseason. That's been kind of the rub on him that he needs to now get over the hump and have a, a little run yes. deep into the NFC playoffs, which he hasn't done yet. Yeah, and uh, I trust him, though. I trust him out of, out of maybe all the Cowboys. All right. I know the answer to this one because America has spoken since they don't really play a lot of 1 o'clock games in the postseason. Uh, <laughs> Kirk Cousins, uh, great regular season, over 4,000 yards when it's all said and done after this Sunday. Uh, you got Justin Jefferson, who, by the way, Where's the NFL? I know they're very busy on Monday night. Oh, but oh, how suspension. has Justin Jefferson not been suspended we're yet still, still for this. violently attacking a referee, an official, with his helmet? Did we all just forget about the assault that we saw on the field this past weekend? That referee is And I recognize alive. with the Hamlin story that they've been very busy. Yeah. But there are 31 other teams out there, and Justin Jefferson, an MVP candidate, assaulted an official with his helmet like a weapon. 
and no fine, no suspension, no flag, ugats, <laughs> which is Yiddish for bagel. Nothing. I don't even. I, what? Anyway. How dare that? And Minnesota How fans, stop that. yelling at me. I'm not even a Giants fan. But when you attack an official with a helmet, you should You're be suspended. Here. You're out of here, bud. Yeah, for yeah. the rest of the year. Anyway, Kirk Cousins, playoffs, yeah, trust bust. or bust? Bust. The entire yeah, team. The entire team. <laughs> there, I just saw a report this morning that the right tackle is now out, their center is out. Cousins is not, you know, the, the Vikings are 25th right now in team efficiency. They're not a good football team. They've won 12 games somehow. I don't know how, but the Giants are going to beat them in the playoffs. Mark that down right now. If you can explain this without boring me, yes. what is team efficiency? <laughs> well, how much time do you have? No, it, it's more just like if you need to get a certain number of yards, do you get in a situation? That's the simplest way to do it. Got it. <laughs> I gave you one sentence. I did one, one sentence. I did one sentence. I did one sentence. <laughs> team efficiency. It, it actually, it's a, I That's mean, like all these analysts out talking about, oh, they don't play complimentary football. I agree. It's like they went to some kind of boot camp for broadcasting. I didn't even, I didn't and even they bring said up, this year Dressler? our terminology is going to be complimentary football. It doesn't even mean I, anything. It's I didn't stupid. even. I did the most simplified version of that take, which yeah. I guess is the word efficiency. What you yeah. need to start yeah. talking yeah. about is kins and rinse is what you need to start yeah, that's talking right. about. Thank you. Rinse. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah. And remember to my man, Daryl Moose Johnson. Stop saying complimentary football. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's not a joke. I think every year all the analysts go to like a boot camp and the NFL is like, this year we want you to use the term complimentary football. Why? <laughs> right? Or this is the new one. Um, oh, they come up with all these stupid phrases uh, when they talk about um, now it's like height radius and all, you know, arm this and just talk like people. Oh, right? That's why I don't wear a jacket and tie on TV to talk about sports. And this is being dressed up. Yeah, All right, we'll give you one more. Uh, can the Giants trust Daniel Jones in the playoffs? Trust or bust? Trust. And I'll tell you why they can trust him. I know I said that for other quarterbacks that have not been in the, in, in the postseason, there's a little bit of like, I don't know if I trust them. But I trust Daniel Jones in this offense, the way they use him, to continue to play the way he's played in the playoffs. You know, if they ask him and they get a situation where it's third and long all game, yeah, I don't trust him in that situation. But if they run the offense as constructed and they kind of keep him out of those bad situations – I think he can play in the structure of the offense, find the playoffs. Yeah, and by the way, I think you learned why you can trust him last week. You know, the Colts are an inferior team, yeah. to be fair. And they're, they're not going to play a team like the Colts, obviously, in the playoffs. But that was a playoff game for the Giants. That yeah. was a win and get in. Yeah. And they had their best offensive played game really of the well. year by far, yeah. which tells me coaching staff's prepared. Yeah. Quarterbacks prepared. I'm not saying they're going to win, but I, there's no doubt in my mind they're going to play well whomever they play against. Absolutely. And, again, the Vikings is a much better matchup for anyone no than doubt. the 49ers. I'm going to give you one more before we get to Cody on the net. Uh, first time in the postseason, and he had to get there, and now you got to win. And that's Justin Herbert. Can Chargers fans trust him, or is he a bust? You can, you can trust Justin Herbert. Um, <laughs> thank you. You can trust Justin Herbert. I, it wasn't my suggestion. You gave that to me. Yeah, but yeah, my voice is loud enough anyway. Trust. Boss. Go ahead. Oh, so louder. <laughs> louder. Yeah, I don't like loud <laughs> it's noises. It's a megaphone. Though. Yeah, the loud noises. It's just, it's perfect. <laughs> It's just, it's, it, it you just, say trust it Herbert? Me, yeah. That's I, exciting. That's hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.